Okay, let's see. We need somebody to be the man of the house or the housewife or whatever and get all these bills in check. Who's that going to be? Michelle? You want to get them? Mm -hmm. Now, let's say, would you stand over here? And now Michelle has been keeping track of how much money she has left, and it is $200. Okay, good. That's $200. Now we need somebody to be the postman. Who's the postman? Jeff, you want to be the postman? Now we need somebody to play Macy's and Gimbal's and write checks and bills and stuff. Um, Laurie, you want to play Macy's and Gimbal's and be checks and bills, write checks and bills. Uh, Jeff, why don't you uh, stay out of the way so Laurie can write some bills and checks here. Now let's see. Bills and checks. Which would you rather get? Would you rather have the postman bring you a bill or a check? Laurie, which would you rather have? Yeah. Check. Why would you rather get a check? It's more money. Yeah, more money. Get a check. They're paying you. Huh? Uh, okay. Now let's see. If I want to write a check, I'm going to write a check. I'm going to show a check with positive numbers. What would that be? Positive three. What would that be in terms of bills and checks? Yeah, what would it be? A check for three dollars. A check for three dollars. <laughs> and suppose I wanted to write a bill for five dollars. How would I write that? Laurie, how would I write Negative that? Five. Negative five. Negative five. Sure would. That'd be a bill for five dollars. Huh? Negative five. And if I wanted to say that you brought a check, I could say you brought a check for three dollars. How would I say that you took away a check for three dollars? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'd say minus uh, positive three. You took away. You took away a check for three dollars, didn't I? And suppose I wanted to say you brought a bill for five dollars. You brought a bill for five dollars, no? Plus. Okay, you bought a bill for five dollars. So, that that if we said that, I bet that would say that you brought a check for five dollars. Oh, negative five. Negative five, huh? You bought you brought a bill for five dollars, and somebody come and write what would correspond to taking away a bill for two dollars. Ian, write what would correspond to taking away a bill for two dollars. Okay, how about that? It says minus a negative two. I bet that works, huh? I'm going to make that even darker if I may. Minus a negative two. Okay, um, let's write a problem here and then we'll figure out what uh, Macy's and Gimbal's have to do about this. Uh, here, let's say the problem is positive three plus positive five. Now, what's that going to be? Uh, are they going to bring Michelle things or take them away? And will they be bills or checks or what? Jeff, what will it be? Uh, two bills, for, uh, one for $3 and one, two checks, one for $3 and one for $5 and they'll bring it to me. Okay, you agree? They'll, they'll bring her a check for $3 and bring her a check for $5. Okay, um, um, Macy's and Gimbal's are going to write the checks now. Okay, now the postman, otherwise known as Jeff, is mm -hmm. going to deliver them. Michelle, hold them up so everybody can see, will you? Okay, she got a check for five dollars and a check for three dollars. That's what she should have, a check for three dollars. They brought a check for five dollars. And now let's see, uh, is that going to make Michelle richer or poorer? What's she going to do with this amount of money that she thinks she has to spend here? Nora? She's going to have um, eight more dollars. Okay. Tell you what, Michelle, may I cross this out? That's what you used to have available. Now, what have you got? Eight okay, Michelle says she has $208. I bet that's right. What will I say this is equal to? Yes? Positive eight. Positive That's just how that works. Let's do another one. Uh, suppose I made up a problem like this negative two plus negative seven. What would happen now? What would Macy's and Gimbal's do about this? <laughs> what do they do? Nora, what do they do? Bring her um, two bills, one for two dollars and the other for seven. I bet that's right. We're going to take her two bills, a bill for two dollars and a bill for seven dollars. Michelle, would you hold that up so they can see? Okay. And now let's see. Did that, uh, when, when Jeff the postman delivered that, did that make Michelle richer or poorer? 
How much money does she think she has to spend now? Is she going to have more money to spend now or less than she had before all that, Nora? Less. Less, huh? And what will we do? How much, how much has she got left now to spend, Jeff? She's got $199. $199, is that right? There's $199 left to spend, and what should I say this was equal to here? Uh, negative two plus negative seven, I could say that was equal to what? Negative nine. Negative nine. Okay, let me do another one of those. Suppose we had positive five minus positive two. Now what do we do? That's a tricky one. Ian, what do we do? Well, you take one check for $5 and a check for $2. Except that, that that's not what it says. Well, you give her a check for five dollars and take away um, two dollars. About that, is that right? <laughs> no, what do you think? Five See, we're gonna we're gonna give her a check for five dollars. We're gonna take away a check for two dollars. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. And so Macy's and Gimbel just has to Macy's and Gimbel just has to write out a check for five dollars here. And then they have to tell Jeff the postman to bring back that one that he took the other day that he wasn't supposed to. Okay, that's what you got. And now Jeff is taking back. You want to hold it up so people can see? He's taking that back. Um, now let's see. How about that transaction? Did that make Michelle richer or poorer? They gave her a check for five dollars and they took away a check for two dollars. Think that made her richer or poorer? Or is that right? Jeff, yeah. Um, yeah. Three dollars. Three dollars richer. Is that right? Well, I bet it doesn't make you five dollars richer because you took away one of those checks for two dollars that you said you weren't supposed to have. Okay, how much money has Michelle got now, Jeff? Two hundred and two dollars. Two hundred and two dollars. Okay, and what will I say this is equal to? Jeff, what will I say that's equal to? Part three. Part three. Ian, is that right? Um. Mm. Yeah. All right, to okay, let's do one more like that. Suppose I had um, negative three minus negative one. That's a tricky one. Now what's going to happen? Ian, what's going to happen this time? Well, you bring her a bill for three dollars and you take away a bill for one dollar. That's right. Is that right? Oh, okay, so Macy's and Gimbel's is writing a bill for three dollars, and then they say, Jeff, the postman, you took her a bill for one dollar that you weren't supposed to. Let's get that back before she starts worrying about that. Uh, is that right? Now what? Is that right? Can we do that, Jackie? And now let's see. Well, that's just a kind of, you know, some people are posting like that, I guess. Um, let's see. How about this? Negative three minus negative one. What's going to happen to Michelle now? Will that make her richer or poorer? We gave her a bill for three dollars. We took away a bill for one dollar and said, don't worry about that. <laughs> now what do you think, Jeff? What do you think? Negative two should be poorer. She'd be poorer. Yeah. And how much poorer? Negative two. Is that right? Two dollars poorer. Two dollars poorer. Jeff and Ian tried to put negative two here. Is that right? Taking away that bill for one dollar and saying, Michelle, we hope you didn't worry about that. That wasn't really for you. Uh, that gives her another dollar now she can spend. Yeah, let's see. Did that all work out right? Did anybody check that? Michelle, did it all come out right? I know how we could sort of check up and see. She said she's back right where she started with $200. Let's see what should happen if I added up this positive 8 and the negative 9 and the positive 3 and the negative 2. What ought to happen? What should it come out to be? What should that come out to be? Let's try it. Suppose I had positive 8. I'm going to add a negative 9. I'm going to add a positive 3. I'm going to add a negative 2. What should that all come out to be? If Michelle's arithmetic is right and she ended up with $200, what should this come out to be? No, what do you think? Jeff, what do you think? Zero. That's what I think, too. Does this work? Mm -hmm. no. Let's see. She got eight dollars richer and three dollars richer. It's like eleven dollars. I, I didn't do that. I had to tell you what Okay, and then she bought. Eight minus nine is uh, negative one, and plus positive three is positive two, and then negative two zero. But that's right. 
And if we ended up with zero, then what would happen? The shell should end up right where she started, and is that what happened? Sure is. Thank you very much.